This video is going to be about organizing our course notes, but it's going to be take two. Uh, last time, what we did was organized the markdown file itself such that we could kind of get these collapsible sections within any of our uh, headers or section titles. And that was really nice because it helped us organize the input side of things. And you can see that if you uh, use an increasing amount of hashtags within a section that you can kind of get subsections. Well, I'm going to expand on that subsection idea a little bit to help us keep the output as cleanly organized. So uh, let's make a note to ourselves. This is only going to work if we are outputting to HTML. Now, I believe everybody that has submit their course notes is following my recommendation and using uh, HTML, like creating a web page, literally what we're doing is creating a web page, is following my recommendation creating a web page. But if you haven't yet submit notes and you submit in, say, PDF or something, or Word, uh, I don't want that at all, uh, what I'm about to show you is not going to work. This is specifically a trick uh, about creating a dynamic web page. So I'm going to create whoops, a single hashtag section up at the top, and I'm just going to call it introduction, but really you can call it whatever you want. The title is not important here. And following that title with a just one space, I'm going to use uh, a left curly brace. And to get the left curly brace, you hold shift and then click the button just right next to the right of P. So I'm going to go curly brace, left curly brace, and our studio will open up a right curly brace for you. And then hit period, and then type out tab set. Now, that's not really going to make much sense to us right now. But if we create every header that we had previously and create it as a subsection of this introduction, so that is put two hashtags on what used to be a single hashtag stuff, and anything that had two hashtags before, now make it three. So as long as you indent everything, I think you all are glad I'm showing you this early in the semester now, we should get a really fancy output. So we'll hit knit after just creating that one section and then indenting everything else. And now look what we get on the output side of things. We literally get these tabbed sections where week one, shows up in its own thing. And look, I'm trying to scroll down, but I can't scroll down any further. You ask, where did week two go? Well, it went in its own tab. And week three shows up in its own tab. This is all built into your one HTML file. What you have created here is a dynamic HTML file that will help you keep your weeks or whatever section headers you're using organized on the output side based on these tab structures. So I'm going to go back here and just offer you some words in the introduction so that your course notes kind of make sense. And I'm going to suggest some language here, but you can really put anything you want. Math 315 with Edward is a statistics course. These are my notes course notes from watching his lecture videos. They are organized by, and then you can say whatever you want to explain the organization structure of your course notes. So my course notes are organized by weeks. But by all means, add anything you else you want in this introduction section. When you knit it, it will show up just above your tabbed sections. Here is that text. I encourage you to put anything you want here that will help future you understand what these lecture notes are here to do for you. 